so this is my comfort box um, and I've just used a, a plain cardboard box. One day I might get around to decorating it but that's not the most important thing for me at the moment. So I've got a number of things in here as I mentioned before, um, some of them photos, some of them objects and I'll just take you through some of them. This was a book that my daughter put together when she was about 10 or 11 years old and it documents some of her experiences growing up and living here with photos and observations. It also has been chewed at the corner because at the same time as she made this book we had a little puppy and the puppy chewed the corner of the book and I remember it so clearly she was really cross but thankfully the puppy didn't ruin any of the corners of the pages so that that's in my memory box. Wow this is a picture of me with an emu puppet that I absolutely adored and I used to try and make this emu puppet do everything that emu used to do on the TV and you can probably tell in the picture I was pretty happy with this puppet. The other thing this picture does is it reminds me of my mum and sitting on the sofa watching emu on the TV with my mum and that just transports me to a place of warmth, security, safety, happiness and I, this picture can evoke those things in me if I need it to, so that's really important. Another photo I have, I keep folded up um, because I love the surprise of opening it each time. This man makes me smile so much. He was my granddad and he certainly made me feel very loved and safe and secure, but also brought with him a great sense of fun. And I remember this photo being taken. I don't keep real photos in here, I only keep paper photos because I know I'm going to take them out, put them back in, fold them up, um, put things on top of them. So it doesn't matter if they get spoiled because I can always take another picture from the original one. Other things I have are um, chocolate, well that's got to be in my box um, and sometimes needs rep replenishing, I have to be honest. But sometimes that's important, just a little treat in there. This is a book of hand shadows that I used to do with the children when they were little and even if I'm on my own, getting the book out, seeing if I can reinvent these shadows on the wall just transports me out of myself and gives me something else to concentrate and think about and that can just top up my battery sometimes. Other things are more smelly. This is a piece of a candle and it's a candle that I really love the smell of and so I cut a little piece off and put it in this box. And you know what, even when I open the cardboard box, this smell comes out and it's such a beautiful smell. I love it. More tactile things include some bubble wrap. I'm probably not alone in loving the feel and the, and the sound of um, popping the bubbles in the bubble wrap. And again, like the chocolate, that sometimes needs replenishing as well. When I was young, we used to go on holiday to Mid Wales to a place called Borth. And this is, well, I don't know if you call it a pebble or a rock from the beach there, but um, this just reminds me of that place and very, very happy times. And um, it doesn't make me sad about those uh, times gone by. It just makes me really happy. A letter my daughter wrote to the Tooth Fairy. And then other things that are more physical. These two magnets, it seems an odd thing to go in there, but something about the pull of those together and the clicky sound. It's just quite grounding for me. don't know why, but it is. And that's where these comfort boxes really are individual. Um, some things work for some people and some things don't work for others. I've got a um, makeup brush, actually, this one is, but this has exactly the same feel as my dog's ears. And if anyone has been on any of our courses, you will know that I talk about how comforting I find my dog's ears are. So if my dog isn't around, or really doesn't want me to stroke his ears, then this can sometimes take the place. Nail varnish to remind me that that's a nice thing to do for myself. Um, a little toy my son once bought back from a camp for me that just makes me giggle. So lots of things. So I hope that's given you some ideas and um, good luck making your own comfort box.